I was looking at something this morning which was the little brochure that was featuring uh, this place, Clevedon Court. And uh, Clevedon Court is a property, a National Trust property, that's in the southwest of England. And it says that it's been the home of the Elton family since 1709. How long have you been in your home for? Uh, maybe you've got accommodation that feels settled and really nice to be in. You've been there, it's your family home, been there for quite a while. Maybe if you're a young person, you've been wanting to move out, but can't quite afford to. Perhaps there's a accommodation that you've been renting and it's uh, not really that settled. You'd like to be somewhere else. And, uh, or how long the contract will continue for and how long the opportunity to rent there will be but you're there for the time being anyway or maybe you like some friends of mine there they're quite established they they actually uh, have been based uh, on a particular estate and they've been there uh, their family's been there for um, I think at least 300 years a uh, very long time anyway so that you can see sometimes people have been somewhere for a few weeks, a few months, a few years, sometimes occasionally several hundred years. And uh, Cleveland Court is obviously a family home, but there's a more permanent, eternal home that God wants us to find. It talks about that at the end of the book of Revelation in the Bible about that place, that permanent place where, where God comes to live with us and he comes to live with his people and it's a city where there isn't mourning and stress and anxiety and fears. My prayer today is that, you know, with these things that we carry, perhaps that face us at the end of the day and we bring them into our home, our our fears, our, our weaknesses, maybe our tensions within the home that we experience, our worries about whether we can keep paying the bills, our concerns about the state of our home, its order, its sense of peace. I pray that the atmosphere of heaven will come into your home, but also that you'll find that eternal home that God promises. That as he comes to live in our lives, that will be the start of that sense of coming home. You know, in Luke chapter 15, it talks about the prodigal son who comes home to the father, to the father's house, and finds comfort, reconciliation, healing, restoration, wholeness, peace. Where he's, he's felt very disconnected to home, where he's felt very unsettled where lots of things had happened in his life but definitely not a sense of, of peace and order and I pray that you will find a sense of God's home God's permanent home that's where he comes to live with his people and there's a sense of eternity there I pray that sense of eternity will come to you as well where there's no crying or mourning or pain or grief all the old order of things has passed away. Behold, I make all things new, Jesus says in the book of Revelation. Pay all the worries and things that we perhaps carry in our hearts and minds late at night, that we would be able to put those into the safe hands of Jesus and find that sense of eternal rest in him, a sense of permanency of stability, of security that we all long for, to find that in his love.